Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the circle drawing algorithm. Before that, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the line drawing algorithm that I made before. So, initially it was only able to handle lines with a slope less than, less than or equal to 1. So, now if I change this to a line with slope greater than 1, it still works. So, now moving on to the circle drawing algorithm. So we have a circle here with a reference circle drawn initially. And so the idea of this algorithm is it exploits the eight base symmetry of the circle. That is, if you divide the circle into eight equal portions, then you'll have portions that are sym symmetrical. So we only focus on one eighth of the circle and the rest are going to be applied to the rest of the circle. So we start off with initial conditions as x equals 0 and y equals r. And from here, we decide based on the decision variable if we need to move east or southeast. So based on um, the decision variable and, uh, and how near it is to the arc, this decision is made. And once we draw for 1 8 of the circle, the entire circle gets drawn. So here we have the main portion of the program, which is the algorithm, algorithm itself. So we start off with the initial conditions, x, y, and the decision variable d. And so we have a sim plot function, which is the symmetrical plot function. What this is, is um, like I said before, we have, we exploit in the symmetry, and we draw, we, once we fill in and you know apply the algorithm for one eighth of the circle it gets applied to the entire circle so here here are the different um, plots for the pixels in in the one eighth of the section and this gets applied to the rest of the circle and so this uh, circle can obviously be can be moved around so if you want to say um, maybe so you moved it around and like you can move it further maybe oh that went out of the screen so we can change it back up so we can also change the radius, make it smaller, or we can make it larger. So based on this, we can draw multiple circles with different radi radius, and then we can also have uh, different starting um, points of the circle, the center and we can draw multiple circles and using this as the base we can have a sort of a, we can also implement this using a class where you make the circle an object and using that we'll have its uh, you'll have its attributes which are the center and the radii so what uh, what we can do is once we have these uh, attributes and it's um, functions which is basically showing the circle so we can have uh, a nice pattern drawn where we repeat the circle drawing and essentially have like a flower or some other uh, some other uh, diagram with uh, with repeated circles thank you